Okay, now Samsung has released a brand new version of Camera Assistant application which adds some powerful new features which we have never seen before. And I'm pretty sure you are going to love these features if you're a camera enthusiast. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. The first thing that you're going to notice on the new Camera Assistant application is the categories. The features are now categorized into lens and zoom, focus, shutter, photos, videos, presets, capture for Galaxy XR, additional modes, camera preview, and external accessories. There are too many options to explore here. And under additional modes, we now get the single take and dual recording switches, which can be enabled and added on the camera application. Remember on One UI 8.5, Samsung removed these two features from the camera app. Now on the stock camera, we do not get single take and dual recorder. If you want that, you need to come here on the camera assistant and enable single take and dual recording, which are incredible features. Next, we can now save and share camera settings as presets. And these are available on Pro modes. Now let's say I'm in pro mode, I have changed the ISO white balance and uh, manual focus, I've changed everything to manual and I want this setting to be saved. All I need to do is just tap on this icon and go to settings and open the all new camera assistant. And here if you scroll down, you will find this option called presets in pro mode. And here we have got two options, create from current settings, create from photo settings. Now let me tap on current settings. You can see I have set the ISO to 3200, shutter speed one second, manual focus and white balance is 6000K. Now these settings are from my current pro settings. I can rename it and tap on save. And we can use this preset whenever we want. I can tap on this and directly go to the camera with this specific preset. That is just incredible, isn't it? And we also have an option to share this preset. Just tap on share and you will be able to share it to another Galaxy phone, which is just fantastic. And if you want to create this from a photo setting, you can tap on that and choose a specific photo. It will grab all the settings from that specific photo. Now, let me just choose this particular photo here. Now you can see this has got shutter speed, exposure value, white balance, etc. It's all set to auto. But if you have an image with manual settings, a specific setting which you have set for that particular picture can be grabbed from that image, can be saved right here. This is how we create it from a photo. Just look at the level of customization we have got on setting the presets in pro modes. Next, we can now control focus on pro video mode. We've got this new option called touch autofocus auto exposure in pro video mode. When I tap on this, it will give me two options, AF AE while recording, AF only while recording. Now while shooting in pro video mode, you'll be able to just touch on the screen to control the autofocus and auto exposure, which will fix these two settings. Next, we have got another feature called focus peaking in pro modes. Let me tap on this. You can see it says adjust how focus peaking looks when using manual focus in pro and pro video modes. You can enable this to show focus peaking. Now focus peaking is a camera feature that helps manual focusing by highlighting the sharpest edges in your live view with a specific color. Now here we've got uh, green, red, yellow, blue and white colors. The object will be highlighted with these colors showing us exactly what's in focus. So that makes it easier to nail critical focus, especially in low light or with fine details by moving the highlight as we adjust it on the phone. We have an option to increase or decrease the line thickness as well. This is focus peaking in pro modes. Next, we have got a brand new toggle for enabling or disabling the optical image stabilization. It says video stabilization in camera settings also needs to be off to stop stabilization. Just in case if you want to disable the stabilization, we have got this brand new option here on the camera assistant. Next, we have got customized indicators now available on camera assistant. When I tap on this, we get two options, photo indicators and video indicators. And we have got the switches for these indicators, flash timer, ratio, resolution, exposure, motion, photo, filters, face. You can keep the one you want and you can just disable the one you don't want. We can do that for the video indicators as well on the video mode. Next, we have got a feature called advanced photo mode controls. When you tap on that, you'll be able to add pro controls to photo mode and limit shutter speed and ISO to reduce motion blur and gray. We have got the shutter speed options and ISO options here. And you can also enable the white balance control and exposure value control. You can customize these as well. These are some incredible new features now available on camera assistant. If you are interested in this update, I will 
will leave an APK in the description. Thanks to Sitik on X for sharing this incredible information along with the APK. Go ahead, the link is in the description. That is all I have here. If you want to stay updated with your Galaxy phone, be sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. If you find this video informative, don't forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. The one that you see here on the home screen is available on Volvers application. It was added just a couple of days ago. Go ahead, check it out. The link for you to download this application is in the description. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.